everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another reaction video. Today I'm going to be watching, reviewing, and reacting to season 1, episode 7, oh I'm sorry, season 2, episode 7 of Mindhunter. So we've only got a couple episodes left in this season and I've I've been thoroughly enjoying uh, this, this trip with the show this season. Um, even little things like the music have been have been kind of getting into my head. Um, I'm really impressed with how the show utilizes a lot of these smaller techniques to really strengthen it overall. I, I mean, I was actually going and looking up the soundtrack on YouTube uh, a little while ago and just trying to listen to some of the songs that they'd chosen and it, a lot of thought and attention clearly put into things and that's one of the one of the aspects of the show I really love is that there's clearly been a lot of care um, put into every every single area involved in the show's creation. Um, so I'm I'm sad that it's almost over, but there's a lot of storylines that we have to kind of see get wrapped up, or that have have things that are open ended at this point in time. Um, the obvious big one being the Atlanta child murders. So I'll be curious to see how they go about wrapping up that whole um, storyline, that case in particular. But then on top of that. What exactly is happening with Bill's son? What's going to happen there, both with Brian and with his family situation overall, and how that impacts his work? Um, the dynamics actually in the office. Wendy is clearly not pleased with the way things have gone with, with Ted, <laughs> their new head, trying to gear them more down this more practical approach, path of solving cases and so less time and attention given to the research. But then at the same time, she's also getting more of an opportunity to go out into the field herself, which is sort of shifting her point of view. Um, and, and even her point of view on things like Holden's choices. So I'm curious to see how that continues going forward. Um, and, then, and then, of course, um, BTK. Will there be any more BTK sightings? Uh, will there be any more discussion of him actually inside the FBI itself? <laughs> We know that it's still quite a while from this point in time until BTK actually is identified and caught. So I'm, I'm very curious. I'm hoping that there will be another season of the show and so then they can get into things going down the, the line in the future with BTK. It seems like that was the goal and what they've been building up to. But it, we'll see what happens. You know, Netflix doesn't necessarily have a great track record of keeping shows going more than a handful of seasons. Um, I hope there will be more, because this is a fantastic show. Alright, so let's get into episode 7 here, see if any of my questions are answered in any sort of way. Um, Alright, so, here we go. Yeah, I'm driving on my way to work sometimes. So you must have seen the news, heard about the bodies. So the only reason you go down Red Wine Road is for work. Yeah, I am. Uh... Never for anything else. <sighs> These are... Yeah. They're, uh... They don't know where they are. We found your fingerprints on them. I don't understand. It's not random. He's showing us how deliberate he is. How smart he is. He's been having a one-sided conversation. We need to respond. It puts him in control. Like he's directing the hunt. Dropping Pew's body at a site we've searched is a way of inserting himself in the investigation. We've seen this before. Kemper, BTK, Berkowitz, they love to be the only ones at the table playing with a full deck. All right. Even the, like, what stupid guys... He's responding to media coverage. We need to strictly manage what we give them. Try that way we're to focusing him to respond to the right and things. And what if he responds by abducting another child? All I can tell you is with BTK, they chose not to engage and he continued to kill. We might be able to push him to make a mistake. Let's provide him a single focused opportunity to insert himself. Something we control. And who is he? Seems we ought to start with the guy who called and told us to search Sigmund Road. The man we're looking for would never allow his voice to be recorded. We don't know that for certain. That caller was ranting. We've never found any evidence that these crimes are racially motivated. Son, we've got 19 dead black children. You telling me that's a coincidence? This is Atlanta. 
Don't have to carry a burning cross to be a racist. Some of the biggest ones are sitting behind it's a gap. Hold them. They have a point. We've had two white callers, the Terrell case and the Jeter case. It's hard to rule them both out as hoaxes without... Crosses. What? We set up memorials for some of the victims. Put crosses at a couple of the dump sites. We make an announcement, hold a vigil. We can tie it to one of the stop marches. It's too much in our operations. Why? They're the people most committed to solving these crimes. We're all committed, Agent Ford. But their rumbling city hall might open an investigation. Into what? Stop's taking in a ton of donations. Their concerns over exactly who received the benefits. Wait, are you what? serious? There may not be equal distribution among families and some are folks. Are you kidding are... me? Hold him. Who gives a shit where the money is going? If we turn our backs on Camille and on the other families, that entire community We're will shut us out. Investigate Period. The no one will talk to us. He's right, Chief. Organization. We got the ops order for the crosses. Finally. These but people there are that could barely investigate the murders. What details? Everything is ready on this end. What's the problem? DC is discussing who should make the crosses. Excuse me? Whether it should be their exhibit section at headquarters or the carpentry shop at Quantico. Why don't we ask the clan for their suppliers? Oh. Tried to do an end run, but I got buried in acronyms. Sorry, guys. There's got to be a way to get this done officially. Pure, we can source the project to an outside vendor. Pure politics to submit a requisition, on one hand, and, and then the fucking bureaucracy on the other. Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm calling Ted. <laughs> Ted is the head of the politics, man. Apologies, Chief. I mean, he might be able to get something done, too, but... We all do, Agent Tinch. Thank you, sir. Ted's gonna try to fast-track the crosses. We've still got a few days we have to try. Every time he calls I'll his head, I'm like... Meanwhile, I found something in those files he gave me over the weekend. Sex offenders. This guy was picked up just after losing. He's not your friend, Holden. Faces charges for sodomy with the minor. Look at the house. This is the brick house down the street in Lakewood? Yep. A neighbor said Luby and Earl Terrell used to go to this house. We should get a warrant. Vice already tore his house and car apart. Pulled out boxes of Polaroids, hundreds of them. All young boys. They arrested two other men who shared the photos between them, possibly sold them. We need to look through those photos. But here's the thing. Evidence file says every single picture was of white kids. Makes sense. This isn't our guy. How can you be so sure? He's white, white he's old. His car isn't close to a police vehicle. Has your hypothesis ever entertained that there could be more than one unsub? That That's two things can be going point. on at the same time? Obviously. But this guy isn't preying on our victim pool. We need to follow this up. We know two victims went to his house. Maybe there were other offenders yeah, you there. Need to follow especially this up if anyway, these guys were part of a ring. We right, know Earl and exactly. Luby hung out with another victim. They called Even him Batman. He's not involved in Patrick this. Patrick Rogers, he's abusing, I'm 17. Could be abusing I'll other take children. Thank you. And he could know something. The truck guy was one thing. That was clearly false, but... I mean, this is actually a cult I feel your love in the sunshine. And, uh... Lonely without you. I love that one. He was talented. Rogers, did Patrick know Luby Jeter or Earl Terrell? Yeah. He knew Luby and Earl. It's hard on him losing those two. Seemed every few weeks there was somebody he knew. Are you saying he knew more victims than just Luby and Earl? Well, yeah. He knew Aaron Jackson. They were good friends. They carried groceries together down in Moreland Plaza. Let's see, at one point he dated Alfred Evans' cousin. So, when he died, that was way back. Patrick knew about him. He knew Charles Stevens, Jesus. and I think he must have known Terry. Cause I know Luby visited Terry him. Pugh? So bless him, Patrick never had to know about him. This is so ridiculous. Did he ever like... talk to you about the murders of the victims? If police had actually he was gone. all broke up about little Aaron. Aaron Weish. Aaron Weish. How do you know him? They could have put more connections Aaron, together love, love, love. much earlier. The day they pulled Aaron from up underneath that bridge, Patrick, he come home and he said, Mama, he's getting closer. Unbelievable. See, I 
Ikea this? Assembly required? Who comes up with this shit? We're not gonna make it in time. I promised they would be there. I'm fucking doing this. This is embarrassing. I promise me you'll never tell anyone I helped build crosses for a march. It's not just that it gets in the way of people doing the job that they need to do. It's, it's, it's the level of ridiculousness of it. The, the, the thing with the crosses was probably one of the most ridiculous bullshit things that I've ever heard. That if the FBI is going to be involved in commissioning them, in providing them, well, there's certain facilities and corporations that they interact with and and that they do business with and there's internal politics having to do with which one of them they're going to actually purchase the lumber from and who's going to be doing the construction and because of that they show up barely at all not even on time late and completely not constructed and and with no warning that that was going to be the case so it completely screws up the entire plan the purpose of which is gone. They didn't like successfully draw him out or spot him in any way, shape, or form. And and beyond that, now he just feels like he's screwed over this group of, of grieving mothers and the community yet again, just making the whole thing look ridiculous, not coming through for them. And on top of that, you have that that their organization is now going to be investigated over oh well we're not sure exactly where all the funds are going and if they're being distributed equally and how how they're being utilized okay so yes you can jump on an investigation of that almost immediately but you can't get your shit together to actually go and interview these people where if you see the interviews happening now, you realize that there was a pattern of specific children who knew each other, who had interactions, being taken one by one to the point that one of the victims is like, I feel like he's getting closer. He's getting closer to me, thinking of the killer in that way. And the police don't even have this information until there's already 19 kids dead and some still missing because they haven't bothered to go out and, and conduct these in-depth interviews and actually get into any sort of discussion between, between the different police organizations in the different counties where bodies are dropped and where children have gone missing. But you can get yourself together to investigate whether or not the funds are being distributed equally from this charitable organization that is actually doing the work that you can't be bothered to do. And again, it all comes down to the politicking. And you can see, the frustrating part is that you can see in this episode and in others as well, why the politicking actually does matter. You know, we've seen that throughout the course of this show, that you have to play up to the right people in order to get the access you need, in order to get the funding that you need, um, and the media support that you need in order to do what you actually think needs to be done to be successful. 
And you see here also that you understand why the politicking is important because of the, the community kind of fear and anger surrounding this happening and also the KKK and everything. But it's just so frustrating that not only are those things being considered because they should be considered because they're important, but they get put first um, to the detriment of the actual investigation, to the detriment of the families, to the detriment of the children. And it's just so frustrating. And, you, and so you can see why Holden kind of goes off on things. And, and one of the, both the, the great things and the horrible things about him is he has so much disdain for all of this. He sees through it. He sees why it, it's stupid, it's bullshit, it gets in the way, and he has disdain for it. But at the same time, that is also what often gets him in so much trouble because you need to have some of that diplomacy. But I, I understand why he just goes off sometimes and just does things even though he's told not to because it's extremely frustrating to watch. But, but this was another really good episode. And oh, spec. We have a kitty situation here. He wants to come cuddle. So I'm going to wrap this up pretty quick because my one of my kitties is, is getting upset and he's going to knock the camera over if I don't. Um, but uh, again, another really good episode. Um, I'm very interested to see what's going to happen with this continued investigation um, as, this, as the season spec wraps up and also with everything that's happening with Bill's family and Brian, especially since... In this episode, you could really start to see Bill saying out loud a lot of the things that we know he's been thinking and worrying about. Um, so, all right, everybody, that's going to do it for me today in this video. Thank you very much for joining me, and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.